You want to know a story? Go ahead. First time I went to Montreal, that's what, that was my thinking. I did Montreal just for laughs. And uh, I did the new faces. And I had some jokes that I thought were like really funny and, and brilliant. Funny. And, oh my I God. thought they were, I, no, I thought yeah. a couple were good. And then fucking I, John Mulaney <laughs> better fucking put his suit, take his suit off. I'm coming. <laughs> and then I switched it because I was like, oh, this would probably make a better show or whatever I thought that you're supposed to have as a comic. I don't even want a sitcom. But like I thought since I was a comic that you're supposed to want that. That's what I that. switched it and I didn't do well. And I and I fucking bombed half the set the first time and like I just did not have a good new faces. And I didn't go back for years and eventually I started selling tickets and they brought me back and then this last year I went back and um I did nasty show and I was really doing well and they asked me to do the this Jezelnet Gala. And uh, I had given them a, a, a set that I was going to do for the Jeselnik Gala. And the day before the gala, I said, fuck that. I'm not going to do that set. No. And I just went up and I did whatever I felt in that moment. I didn't even have a set list. I was just like, whatever jokes feel that they're the right thing to do. And uh, I got a standing ovation, bro. And it was just this moment where it was like, Trust your fucking gut. Stop trying to please these suits. Stop trying to please these execs. You do what you want to do and you fail until it works. And I promise you, if you can keep doing it long enough, it will work out. Most people can't suffer that long. But if you can, it will work out. I don't know what I'm going to say till I get there. Yeah. And even then. <laughs> and that's why they like it. Even then, you got a problem. But dude, that, that's why like with your special... Like, I don't want to see you walking on stage. If I'm watching your special, I got to I gotta come in to you already going. Does that make sense? Like, for me, I'm the guest at your house. Not that moment where the comic walks and the, through the curtains and that kind of, No, no, you're already moving. I, hear, I should hear your voice already going. And you're talking about this. Uh, she got a monkey and uh, this, that, that. And then, like, the, the camera comes through the doors. And you're there. Is it you know what I'm saying? Because that's yes. your comfort zone. Your comfort zone is us in your house. It's your show. You know what I mean? Not like, okay, time to turn it on. Yeah, no, it's uh what they preach and what you do. After I shot the Netflix Degenerates when when it all came to me. Yeah. And here I'm doing comedy twenty six years. Yeah. And it all came to me. I'm like, that's it. Yeah. I'm doing something. I'm going out with a different type of bag. Let's do something, man. What are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? Get me fired? Yeah, 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 yeah. What are they gonna do? Fucking. Now another thing that you're doing that's very intelligent is, let's be honest. I got a wife. I got a kid. I'm over fifty. I gotta pee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when I sit down, when I sit down, yeah, I'm over fifty. I gotta pee. When I sit down to watch a special. Like, I become a consumer, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. You got about six minutes. That's it. Okay. And if you pass that six minutes, the honest opinion, if this is Jesus and you're killing, I'm still probably going to shut you off at 28. Go do something. Completely cause I, reasonable. Because I sit there and catch myself going, there's something yeah, I got to be doing. Of course. Instead of sitting here like a mook Yeah, <laughs> you're an adult. <laughs> and then you do something, and then you come back, and you finished it. I have to be honest with you. The Chappelle special, I tolerated for 38 minutes. Mm-hmm. I went and did something. Then a night later, I came back and watched it. And then I watched it over two nights back to back. Mm. And that's when it sunk in what he had done. Mm. But something you were going to start saying earlier, you did your special at 35 minutes. And you noticed that when you watch a special, as you being you, yep. even if you know Chappelle or mm-hmm. Bill Burr or yep. Theo Vaughn, yeah, at twenty eight, you're like, I gotta go do something, dude. I had to earn thirty five. I didn't deserve thirty five minutes of your attention. Imagine a stranger walked up to you and he was like, "Hey, you want to listen to me for thirty five minutes?" You tell him to go fuck himself. Yeah, right. Like, I, I, it took me years to earn thirty five minutes of your attention. I started at fifteen, and then I just put up clips. The clips were anywhere from like two minutes to maybe nine minutes, and I would do that every week. And then I. Then I put another special out, but those clips were around seven, eight minutes each. But you could watch them together. And then even then, you'd cap at around 32 minutes. But I slowly built up your tolerance for me because who the fuck was I? 
I was a nobody. Nobody knew who I was. So I needed to slowly build you up to who I was. And then once you really trusted me and you love my stand up, you love my perspective, and I give you 35 minutes, you're happy. You're like, oh shit, it's not just 10? We get 35? It's a treat, not a chore. And I always want our art to be a treat, not a chore. I never want you to feel forced with comedy. I never want you to feel like you're, you're bullied into it. You know, you must stay to the end. You don't gotta do nothing, bro. It's an honor to stay to the end. That's what it should be. That's why I never really sold shirts after a show. You're out. I always felt that I really tortured you enough. <laughs> Come over, shake my hand, or don't shake my hand. Yeah, but they want the shirt, man. But they want the shirt. Go they fucking on. love you. They go want on, that. Go online yeah. and buy the fucking shirt. I don't want to. I want you to come talk to me like yeah. a man. We're going in like fucking Marines. You understand me? Welcome to church, motherfucker.